I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a lovely taco. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna draw a cute taco. So here we go. We're gonna start on this side of the taco with a nice U shape, and this is gonna allow for the opening of our shell because of course we need to put all that yummy goodness in it. All right, big rainbow arching line up and over to create the front of that taco shell. I'm gonna go back to the side because it's a little bit easier for me to line it up, curve it over so that way our shell is thick. Bring it across, connect. Boom, it's a taco shell. And if you're wondering, this looks weird, no worries. We're all good, we got more to add, which of course will be all our lovely fillings. Now, if you're like me and you don't wanna put the meat in there, you can go ahead and swap it out for some beans or whatever you feel like in there, maybe some chorizo. Um, if you prefer that in your tacos, I know a lot of people like ground beef, uh, Whatever you want in your tacos, you put that in your tacos. Um, in this drawing, I am going to add a layer of beef, ground beef, because some people like that. But if you don't want to put it in, you don't have to. So add your ground beef with some curving lines. I'm going to add some beans because that's usually what I like. Okay, also, I really like refried beans. Mmm, delicious. But if you don't like refried beans, you don't have to put them in your taco. All right, on top of that, we got some cheesy goodness. So I'm gonna add some cheesy goodness and this will be a lot more cheesy looking. Okay, I really like cheese, guys. We'll add lots of cheese. Yeah, it does look a little bit similar, but it won't once we color it. If you like tomatoes, you can add some tomatoes. Got some tomatoes in my taco. Maybe I'll have a tomato sticking out over here because I like tomatoes. Again, if you don't like tomatoes, don't put them in your taco. Oh yeah, I gotta put big blobs of sour cream. Okay, I'll be honest. Oh yeah, this is what my taco, <laughs> this is a real accurate de de depiction of my tacos. I think it's mostly sour cream, because sour cream is delicious. Okay, if you like lettuce in your taco, you can add some lettuce in your taco. Mm -hmm. And lettuce has some texture lines, so I'm gonna add some lines in it. Ooh, actually, maybe for the sour cream, I'll add some curvy lines this way, because I do add quite a lot of dollops of sour cream. All right, generally, this is really what my tacos look like before I eat them. I just love tacos, guys, and I'm sure that if you're drawing this, you love tacos too. But, we gotta add some face to this. Okay, on either side of your taco, draw two curved lines. Draw a parallel line for it. This is a really happy taco. This taco's thinking, oh yeah, it looks so good. Okay, color in. Those two curved lines in your taco. So delish. Such a cheerful taco. Okay, our cheerful taco needs a mouth, so we're gonna draw one line across for our taco. Draw a U shape for the mouth for our taco. From this corner, draw a curving line down on our taco to create a nice open wide mouth. And color in uh, the dark of the mouth, leading that tongue nice and red. All right, I'm just gonna add a few hatching lines here or there to add some texture to my taco because of course the shells are kind of rough. I'm gonna add some dots for where I got nice roasty toasty before I ate it or I'm about to eat it. Drawing this makes me want to eat a taco. I 
All right, this taco is fully textured. Take your mark maker, guys. We gotta make it bold and beautiful. Right, we wanna invite people to look at our work, so we gotta make it stand out, and we are gonna do that by going around the perimeter, the contour, and we're gonna outline it. Ooh, lovely. Make sure you anchor your paper with your other hand. Awesome. I'm actually gonna take this marker and I am going to go around that taco shell line again because I find that it's a lot going on with, because I overfilled my taco again. Guys, you know what's gonna happen is that the potential for breakage is high here. So I gotta make this stand out a little bit more because there's so many toppings. Cool, all right. Now it's time for you to grab your favorite coloring mediums and let's color our tacos. Now I don't have a perfect taco color, so I'm actually going to blend two colors. I'm gonna color it with a light peach or beigey color first and then I'm going to go over with my yellow and then instead of shading with gray today I'm going to add some brown because of course of course it's a toasted taco all right so that's my base color now I'm going to layer with a, a yellow or a lemon color Yellow's too much. There we go. That's a better taco color. So if you don't have a color that you like as a taco shell cover, color, just make sure you experiment. Use this opportunity to discover and try something out. See if it works. If it doesn't, that's okay too. You'll know for next time that it didn't work. And you'll try something different again until you find a solution. Cool, look at that taco color. All right, brown. I'm gonna use this brown for some shading. And this is also gonna make it look toasted. So normally I use gray for shading, but not today because it makes more sense to shade with brown, but it's still a darker value. Okay, shade around the edges. Shade under the eyes, and you can use any medium that you have, right? I'm using felts, but feel free to use what you have. You can use wax crayon, felt marker, whatever. I'm gonna add some brown to these texture lines here for some yummy goodness on my toasted taco shell. Okay, right, the fillings. Let's do that. I don't have a different red that's lighter, so for my tomatoes, I did the outside in felt marker, but I'm gonna use a wax crayon, which is something I can control the value for, for those inside parts of my tomato. Use my same red on my tongue. Cool. This is one happy taco, guys. Oh yeah.
lettuce. I don't have two different browns on my, oh yeah, I found the perfect refried bean color. What is this, tumbleweed. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Yeah, so I don't have two browns for my fill markers, so off to wax crayons again. And look at how nice, oh no, my cheese, guys. forgot about my cheese. Oops. I'm not sure that I can <laughs> color over that. Uh, I got too excited about this tumbleweed. Okay, we'll try this again. Okay. Mm, not really. All right, well, we'll pretend that adhered. Perfect. Cheese. Oh, you know what? I think the cheese should be orange. <laughs> it's cheddar. Oh, I don't know. That's not very nice either. Ah, oh, okay, that looks better. We'll leave it at that. I do think, che I don't know. I'm back and forth about my cheese today. Maybe I do want yellow. I just, I think that looks nice. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Okay, but my sour cream does need a little bit of shading for that. I will use some gray because it's white, so I'm gonna shade my dollops here. Perfect. All right, and once you're done, Coloring in your lovely taco. Your artwork is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.